Good day, grade 12 learners, and this is our second video where we now are going to be looking at probably question two and question three with regards to preparing now for your June PRAC exams. So let's have a look at what's been happening over the last two years to see if we can get a trend um, and to see how we can approach the one that's coming up. Okay, so let's start with 2023. Let me just bring it in here. Okay, so there we go. And we're going to look at word processing. So remember, this was 2023, right? So let's see what they've asked us to do here. We're looking at things like track changes. Okay, so we know where to go to for track changes, review tab over there, accepting, rejecting, um, locking the tracking. Uh, enabling, which is just clicking there, or disabling our track changes. Then paragraph indents. Again, folks, we're going to go up here to paragraphs. We're going to deal with our indentations, our hanging indents, etc. Uh, accessing the headers and then setting tab stops. So we were right there with tab stops. That's fine. Insert and automatically update the field. Okay, so please in the headers and footers up here on the insert section. Please remember we're in the header and footer tab. We've got date and time. We've got document info over here. We've also got fields. You can go quick parts and fields as well. And then over there you can choose what you need. If in this case it would be a date. And then you just follow the instructions, right? Um, automatic page numbering, we know how to insert that. A watermark, your name and surname as the author. Export the file as a PDF. That simply means that we are going to now save it as, and I've done this in another video, where you're saving it as a different type. Okay. Then they want us to split the table. Okay, so that's dealing with tables, splitting the tables. Um, table rows, they want us to delete that row. Move the Excel portion of the table to below the spreadsheet heading. Page breaks, comments. So apply a comment, delete another comment. And then use a URL provided to modify a source. Okay, so remember, we're going up here to our sources. Manage sources, and you might want to edit a particular source. And then they want us to adjust page margins, um, edit the image below, which appears in the footer of the document. And we don't want it to appear on the cover page, but it must remain on all the other pages, which means we'll have to insert a section break. Okay, so a section break, effectively breaking up that cover page from the rest of the document. Then formatting... Normal formatting, guys, you know how it goes. Paragraph formatting, line spacing. Modifying and applying styles is one as well that's going to come up. Um, well, that we've seen so far. Your table of contents, modify, modifying a table of contents, not just inserting it. Then a hyperlink, uh, a bookmark that we can see over there, and then linking you know, a term or word or phrase to a bookmark. So again, our hyperlinks. And they mention yeah, locate the text highlighted in pink. They want us to format the content into two columns with a line in between. Um, use a column break. Convert all the content of the second column. Uh, game viewing to morning bushwalk into a bulleted list. So they want us to convert that text to a bulleted list. And use, and there's the Webdings code 111, and they give us a picture as well. So using a symbol in the bullet list. The bibliography, changing the orientation of the final page to landscape. Adding a footnote. Um, and then modifying an image as well. Right, Height and width of the image. Captions. And that's it. Okay, so that was 2023. That was 2023. Let's go and have a look at uh, 2024 quickly. Let me just get that one. 
So June 2024. Okay. So 2024, let's have a look here. We did question one, now we're looking at Word. Ah, have a look at that. Track changes, watermark, changing the picture in a cover page, modifying a citation, a source citation. Is this <laughs> familiar? Right? Um, replacing the blue highlighted text with a citation, modifying the page setup like our margins and the size of the page. Folks, is this familiar? 2023 to 2024? Page numbering, they want plain, plain page numbering. Today's date in there as well. Um, let's see, uh, adding in a comment. Then they want us to get to a particular paragraph and there they give us a picture. So they want us to, in 2024, change that text into three columns with lines in between, a border, um, no, did they ask for a border? No, that's just part of that. And then a watermark as well, automatic hyphenation, justifying the text. So can you see it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven marks for doing that. Okay. Then also, let's see, they want us to replace the highlighted text with an APA style bibliography. Folks, did we see this in the previous one? Yes, we did. Modifying the cover page, page orientation, border, center, the content, modifying a table of contents. Oh, come on. <laughs> can, can you see the, the trend? The drop caps, modifying a the table. There we go again. You know, border of the table, footnotes, function at the end of a table. We see our tab stops again and changing the status of a document to final and that if we go to file info um, and we go show all properties there we can change the status and there's a couple of other things that they sometimes ask us to do as well including inspecting a document and protecting it with a password